Hey guys, welcome back. So, um, just wanted to pick up where we left off in the last video. So, now we're totally up and running with Proxmox. Um, you can see here uh, we have the Fram Proxmox, but we don't have any VMs running. Um, so that's what we need to do, is we need to go through the process of creating a VM, uh, installing an operating system on it, and then configuring it to do what we want. Um, so. In the first video, I said I wanted to install something called Open Media Vault. So I'm just going to Google that, and we're going to install that first. And this is going to act as a, a NAS, uh, the Open Network Attached Storage Solution. So um, you might have heard of FreeNAS as well. I've used that in the past, but I, I just wanted to try out this Open Media Vault. Um, and this is going to be where we store all of our files. So I'm going to have a, a, a big 5 terabyte um, drive. and I'm going to serve it out to um, other clients like Plex. Um, that's why I wanted to do this first before I show you how to set up Plex because we have to have that, um, you know, all that media accessible. So let's just go to download and download ISO and download the latest version and shouldn't take too long here. So we're just going to download that. Um, yeah, but uh, the plan is to install Open Media Vault, get that up and running, um, install Plex, and then I'd like to install Open um, VPN. So we have a VPN too. Um, but first we'll just install um, the Open Media Vault. So while this is downloading, I'll just uh, pause the video for a sec. All right, so you can see here it finished downloading. So now we need to we have to add this ISO to Proxmox. Um, so if we go to this local, this is basically our 300. You know our um, the RAID array we made with the four 300 drives. That's what this um, store is. So you can see I have one loaded already. I have Ubuntu the ISO file for that. I'm going to upload the Open Media Vault just so it's accessible. Um, this basically makes it available to Proxmox to use it uh, to create a VM from. All right, so now we can go to Create VM. And VMID, that's just a number, um, just a, an incrementing number. So the first VM we make will be 100, the second will be 101. And then we're going to call this Open Media Vault. You can call this whatever you want Open Media Vault. And then we want to use an ISO file that's local, so it's in the local. And we're going to use Open Media Vault. And you want the guest OS to be Linux because this is based on Linux, not Windows. Um, so next, this next uh, disk size. I'm going to make this 25 gigabytes because we're not really installing or storing any data on this drive, on this VM. We just need it to be big enough to hold the, um, uh, just to hold Open Media Vault. Um, that's good. CPU, I'm going to use one socket and six cores. This is going to depend on your computer setup, but I know I have two physical CPUs uh, with a bunch of cores, and I think this is this configuration will work for now, but if not, um, the nice thing about these VMs is you can change these dynamically. Um, so you would just stop the VM and change the values. So I'm not going to be too worried about that. And then type, I'm going to call this, or select host here and then click next. And memory, I'm going to do 6 gigs um, and I need to get the exact number of um, megabytes, 6 gigabytes is. So it's 6,144. And again, this we can conf reconfigure if we have to, but I think 6 should be plenty. The computer has, um, I think, 64 gigs of RAM, so um, there's a lot to work with. This is the network device. Um, I've been told or I've had success using the Intel one. Um, 
can't remember why exactly, but I always choose that. So feel free to experiment, but I always use Intel there. And click next and confirm all this stuff. And just I, I click start after created. So once we hit finish, it's going to attempt to start the VM. So you can see here now we have one VM here. It's sort of in a an initializing state right now. Now it's up and running, it shows. And if you look at this log here, you can see um, I don't see any errors or anything, so that's a good sign. So we can go to. So now we need to go to the console because basically it's going through an install process. Um, so this is basically like we turned on our server and popped in the, the bootable ISO drive. Now we have to um, go through the installation process. So you can see here we already have an installer. So just click English, United States. And just let it do its thing for a little bit. It shouldn't take too long. All right, I'm just going to pause this. Okay, so. It prompted us, it asked us a question, so please enter a host name for this system. Uh, Open Media Vault is fine, so I'm just going to hit uh, continue. Domain name is local, we can use that. Continue. Root password, so here just type a password in. And don't forget it. Right, I'm going to pause this again, and um, I'll start it back up if there's any anything interesting that pops up. All right, so um, it prompted me for this, so I'm just going to say United States. Just select all the default here. This just continue through this. I think it's just updating. still doing some installation stuff. I was trying to bookmark, um, oh, hold on, device, yeah, so it's just asking device for bootloader. We want it, where do we want the bootloader to install? And that's, that's 25 gigabyte hard drive, which I'm assuming is this drive here. So click that. Um, I was saying I was trying to bookmark this stuff in this folder, but for some reason it's not working in Chrome right now. Because once Open Media Vault installs, we're going to have a new IP address to go to to browse to that. So I wanted to start bookmarking all this stuff. Um, okay, it's finishing the installation. I'm going to pause this again. Okay, one second later. Okay, installation complete. Awesome. So, hit continue.
Now I'm also going to use something called PuTTY. So if you don't have PuTTY, um, I suggest you download this. And it's basically a way to just um, connect to this VM. So we're going to SSH into our new Open Media Vault um, server. Actually, we, I don't even think we need to do this for this step, actually. Um, we just need to let it, we can view it in the console here, and then it's going to give us an IP address to go to. So this is like, it's it's initially starting it up for the first time, and it's going to say, now we can browse to the web interface for uh, for this, and that's what we're going to do. So it's still just like turning on for the first time. Booting from hard disk. Okay, so now this is what I was talking about. So we're in, um, by default, the web control panel administrator account has the username admin and password. Okay, so it's one of these IP addresses. Let's try the first one. So, 192.168.178.5. I don't think that's it. This is all. This has happened. This confused me in the past before. I'm just looking at the old. This is my old um, Open Media Vault before I wiped it. One six eight. That was. Uh, maybe it's still initially booting up. I don't know what these differences are, but it's definitely a 192 number, so let me try 39.1. I feel like I had to restart it last time. Bear with me here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to log into it and get the IP of it that way. So I'm going to log in with root. And I'm just going to say if config IP. Oh, this must not must not be installed on this version of Linux. Let me just reboot it. All right, so I'm rebooting it now. I feel like that's how I got it to work last time. Once we get into it, see, there it is. There's just one there. I I don't know why it's like that the, the initial time, but let's try this address. 102.168.0.139.0.139. Okay, here we go. So, we're in, this is the uh, interface for Open Media Vault. Um, and I think this, they said it was admin administrator. So let's try that. No. What did it say? Ad, admin Open Media Vault. Okay. Okay, cool. So it's uh, 
So we're in. Uh, I'm going to stop the video here and make a second video about the actual configuration because this video is getting a little long. But um, So we're in. This is good.